What's up everybody, I'm Derek and welcome back to the channel today, today we are back with some more Tales of Horizon today we're going to be looking at the DLC because we have the ultimate edition of the game shout out to Bandai Namco for providing us with the code for the game and we're going to look at what comes with the DLC, what comes with the ultimate pack and see what kind of juicy gear and items we're gonna get, my fan. Without further ado, let's dive in. So, if you get the ultimate edition, you got a bunch of stuff they're gonna be giving to you. First thing you wanna do is go over here. And if you look, you have downloadable content and you have unclaimed DLC. This is after you bought everything. So, in here, there's a couple of things I'm not, I'm not gonna pick up because some of these things will permanently make the game easier because it gives you a big boost on some earlier items. But if you look at the premium item pack, if you look at we have five light bottles, 100,000 glad, 10% off general store, 20% off SP boost, 20% additional XP boost. So you already got to be doing your skills more often. You're going to be leveling up quicker. And it gives you all the skills, all the sages that allow you to increase your stats permanently. Five red stage, lavender, verbena, rosemary, all of them. So essentially, if you get this one, whoo. It's definitely gonna make the game a lot more um, less challenging for you earlier on if you go that route. So I would say I wouldn't do this one unless you're trying to level up other characters later in the game, or I don't, or you just wanna like just beast on everything. But for me personally, I'm gonna I'm not gonna take this one, especially not right now. On the other hand, a premium costume pack. Now this is what something I will indulge in because it allows you to put essentially layered armor on your character so regardless of what you have equipped you have a special style and aesthetic to make sure you're just looking good while you're slaying the monsters so i'm gonna get all these and i'm gonna put them all on so you guys will check them out in a second but before we get to that i'm just gonna continue on going through the list accordingly premium travel pack 50 percent off engraver minimal weapon and foraging minimalist cooking 30 percent general store double effect cooking time wow so the premium stuff it's not playing around. The premium stuff, it goes down. So if you want to have some super juicy experience earlier on, that's what you want to go with. I think for now, I'm just going to get this one. We got the Beach Time Triple Pack, and it has a bunch of stuff in there. We're going to go through and check them out as well. We have the female version. We have the Triple Pack, the School Life. So it's like a schoolboy uniform, I'm, I'm assuming. Same thing with the female one. And the wearing state of samurai armor, I'm gonna put that one. The gale armor, the shinobi locks, all kind of stuff you're gonna see. Then they got the female version. They got collaboration costume pack. So I'm assuming this is just based on seasonal things and other things to come. But this is what you get. So with the DLC, you get a lot of stuff, a lot of costumes, and make sure when you're fighting, you, you're looking just amazing out there. So first one we're gonna pick up is we're gonna pick up the premium pack. So first of all, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this one. I'm gonna claim all the ones from my but there's two characters that I got as of right now. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I since I went ahead and got all the outfits, and that's one thing I like, all the DLC, for the most part, except for one thing, it's all cosmetics. So I'm just gonna go over my boy and her because these are two I wanna showcase now. When I get the other characters, I'll showcase that as well for you guys. Also, that way there's no spoilers later on. But here we are about to go into the hairstyles first. So first, Iron Mask. So you have the Iron Mask. This is one of the classic. Samurai, nah. This is all the ones you pay for in the DLC. Beach hair. <laughs> nice, nice. This one. The ponytail. Oh, this one's kind of fresh. Also, you have this one. This one is clean. I like this one a lot. This one looks smooth. And for the clothes, we have the rag clothes. The one we got earlier on. The samurai armor looks good. Looks fresh. So the samurai armor A, B, and C. I don't know. I can't decide between A and C. What do you guys think? Help me pick. I think I'm going to go with B. This one looks too good. Let me see. Now we have the shorts. And A, B, and C. Let's go boys school uniform A. This one's kind of fresh. I like the neutral colors here. Oh, this one. I like the solid color pants and the white jacket. I don't know wh which one should I go with, the samurai or this one? I, can't, I think I might start the game with this one and I go into this one like later on, you know? 
Then after that, we have the new Trailblazer. Then we got this one. This one's just rough. Just nice. But these are the outfits for them. Next, we have attachments. We could put a little buddy on top of our heads. We got a little buddy her. That one. That one. Or we got the tail. Then, then lastly, we have the prototype Alma weapon. That looks that looks clean. That looks clean. For her. All right, let's check it out. We have ooh, the bridesmaid. A, B. That's a long hair. And C. With a ponytail, tropical. The other one. And this one, the student ponytail, looks fresh. Here, this one's clean too. Yeah, super clean. <laughs> we got the hat. Oh, yo, this hat is clean. Okay, let's keep it like this. Bring it down a little bit so we can see. All right, outfits. The battle main outfit. This one. The other one. I'll just keep it in the walking stance so you can see what it looks like walking out. The swimsuit. The other one. And the last swimsuit. Girls uniform. A. Oh, that's a cool, that's a dope jacket. C. And C. All right, the next one. Royal Unifier. And her version of the same outfit as that, um, his. Looks clean. Ah, this one too. So these are the ones you expect. You also have weapon armor, weapon skin that you get as well. Oh, the full time armor. Weapon. He gets a similar one as well. I feel, I feel, I feel he got, he got gypped. We didn't get to see him in the different animations. Okay, we got this one. Let's do the walk in through all of them. Yeah. Looking smooth. I like that. Let me see. I put it right here in the middle so you guys see a little better. Boom. Okay, look. Tails knows how to showcase their characters. Let's see this one right in the center. All right, look. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, so studious. This look, he like a professor with this one on. I like it. Beautiful. All right, comment below which is your favorite. Which one? I I I I I have a suspicion of what I think some people's favorite is gonna be. Comment below. But this is what you get in terms of DLC. It is skins, and you get some stuff in game. I won't leave the in game stuff alone. But as far as also too, like if you want. The only one thing you get when in terms of like weapon is you get the photon blade, but that one's just too strong. So I'm gonna leave that one off 100% and you get one for her too. So these are some things you can expect when you get the, the premium edition of the game and some DLC as well. But everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you find value in it. You got an idea of what you could expect as far as customer characterization. I'm sure we'll unlock some more stuff within the game to mix in with these as well. And there'll be more in the future. But if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. Like if you give a thumbs up. Till next time, dear camera, signing out. But just so everybody can see, we went and redeemed everything in here besides the premium stuff. Because I want to leave that stuff alone because this stuff out here is dangerous.